Kia Soul guys. So guys, welcome back to the channel Car Summit. Today I'm doing a quick review on a car. It's a Kia Soul, 2022 Kia Soul LX. It comes with the technology package and I'll list some of the stuff that it comes with as I'm going in. So it has a really nice color. It's called Inferno Red. Inferno Red, really nice color. It's a small engine, 2.0 four cylinder, intelligent variable transmission, kind of like a CVT basically. And it has a drive mode selectors as well. This car starts at 19,190. 19,190. And then if you, this one comes with the, the technology package, which is probably another thousand dollars if you need it. But I'm sure there's other packages that you can select. So very nice little looking car. Very practical, which is what I like about it. So this is the 16 inch, 16 inch upgraded alloy wheel that hey. the tires are 205 by 60 16 inch tires also come with the roof rack in this package it comes with auto on off auto on off headlights and rear privacy glass so this one is a really nice i like the front of it it has a really big grill love the new kia logo so these are where the headlights are. This is the driving lights. And then also the, um, the turn signal are up, so up here. Come with auto start stop. Here's the truck. It's a pretty nice size truck. It also has a 40-60 split. If you flip, if you push the, the, the rear seat back, it's really nice. You have a lot more room you can use little cargo net holder and also i believe it also have a small spare tire as well which is very nice to have okay guys let's uh push this seat back i really like this pattern it's so it's different i like it it's, i don't know what you call it but it's very nice power window so i'm sitting in the I'm sitting in the the rear. I have a lot. I want to say about four to five inches, maybe four to six inches or so. Yeah, four to six inch, maybe four to six inches leg room. As I'm about five, let me see. I'm about five, five eleven. So I still got enough enough room. Let's check the door. Nice closing sound. I like it. I mean, inside the car looks really nice. This one doesn't have the the package with the um, with the sunroof, but it's the very practical car. So no more, you know, stuff here. No more um, power window, auto lock, left, right, and in the mirror control. And yes, I do do like where they have the tweeters mounted, and there's a speaker right there. So as you can see. When you open the door, it gives you a little welcome light. It tells you which door is open. It still have the analog on both sides. All right, it has an eight inch touch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let me turn it on so you guys can see. So here's what it looks like. And I love the, the big, you know, it's very easy to read. The buttons are super big, very responsive. A track. I love that I still have a volume, a volume knob, which is very rare these days. And this is for the FM. Your normal, regular, single zone AC unit. Shift. This little shifter is very cute. <laughs> I like it. It's very nice shifter. Airbags and the little screen i i think you can control the screen with the what's on here okay here's the drive mode when i press the drive mode so you got let me see normal and sport let me turn this up the car very nice it tells you that the tailgate is open which is cool let's put it change the drive mode this is normal or sport so i wonder if that does anything you have your regular buttons here your volume up down call you know siri i mean push to talk basically your cruise control and here 
has two regular cigarette lighter and a USB but no USB in the back glove compartment normal size nothing crazy let's play with the radio and see how how good it sounds it's fine. it also has HD radio just trying to find a station to see how it sounds I'm trying to connect my phone Ooh, uh, it has wireless Apple CarPlay. Let's play some music and see. All right, guys, this car sounds really good. You know, um, I can't play the music. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, but the bass is, you know, it's not, it's not the top of the line. It sounds pretty good. I like the way it sounds. Wireless Apple CarPlay also comes with um, Android Auto. And it also comes um, with the Wi-Fi as well if you need to use that in this package. So, review with trajectory, which is very nice and it's very clear. Remote keyless, and, remote keyless entry, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, but I'm not going to do it now because it's uh, a friend's car. So, I want to keep the driving ability normal. It's actually right here. You can, to the right, you can tilt it and telescope it and a nice center console pretty big put a good amount of stuff in there a normal size one pretty comfortable as well full inside curtain and bag anti-lag braking system traction control system electronic stability control tire pressure monitoring system all that is right in here show you the i gotta show you guys the engine well, it's very nice of them to put the little rods there. So it's a small engine, 2.0, dual overhead cam, 16 valve. Super, what I love about it, the engine is very, very quiet. When you're in the cabin, you don't, you don't even know if the car is running, which is really nice. It's very spacious. If you need to work on the car, it's very easy. I love the way it looks. It's very simple, small engine. If I can turn on the lights and show you guys. This is your regular headlights that's on. I think they are a little bluish. It looks a little bluish. And this is the day the running time light. And I'll turn on the parking so you guys can see. So this is where the hazards are. Show you the back. Blind spot monitoring. There you go. Turn signal, the backup is right here. So back. I love the way the back look, it's just a it's just simple enough. As you know, Kia is very big on safety guys, so it has a Kia drive wise, forward collision avoidance assistance, lane keeping assist, drive attention warning, blind spot collision warning, real cross traffic collision, and lane change assistance. These should help you stay safe on the road, bro, right? Okay, let's run a quick brake test and see how this Kia Soul does. Oh, not bad. Let's do it one more time. Pretty good. All right, guys, driving the Kia Soul. Actually, it's pretty good. It's very comfortable. I like the steering wheel. It's very nice. Yeah, your t you know your, your 10 and 2, a nice leather wrap steering wheel, of course with the new Kia logo. You have normal tachometers and you have a little screen in the front as well. I think it's like a three, three to four inch. I'm not sure, but it is very, very comfortable and it's very, very livable. And although it looks, you know, like a little box, but it's very practical. So most people who would buy this car need something very pra practical and very, very good on gas. So the EPA rating guys is 28 city, 33 highway and 30 combined. I mean, depending on how you drive, you probably could get a better gas mileage on it. Also, the fuel capacity is about 14.3 gallons. So you probably could get a lot of stuff out of that. So the drivetrain is a two liter dual overhead cam with 16 valve and it's a four cylinder. It has basically a CVT or 
Kia's version of a CVT. The horsepower is 147 and the torque is about 132. And the transmission says it's an intelligent variable transmission. All right, guys, like I said, Kia is very big on safety. This car comes pretty much packed with all the normal safety stuff. The, the airbag, dual airbag front, the mounting side airbag, full length side airbag, four wheel disc brake, anti-lock system, ABS system, electronic stability control, vehicle stability management, electronic brake force distribution, heel start assist control, tire pressure monitoring system, you know, the TPS sensor, and lower anchor and tether for children, and then also a real child safety door lock. So this car is really packed, just in case something happened to you, Kia made sure you'll be safe or you have what you need at least to feel safe. Don't forget, Kia also has one of the best warranty out there on almost every car manufacturer. It is the industry leading, you know, 10 years, 100,000 mile warranty program. So this warranty is pretty much one of the best. So now I'm driving the car a little bit just to see how it feels and it is feeling amazing like freaking amazing it's so nice and easy it's a great it's a great girl car i'm not saying it's not good for men but it's a nice little do anything every like basically a great daily car you can do anything you want with it so now we're just gonna drive a little bit and take it on the highway and see how it does I think it should do pretty well. I mean, let's go and see what happened. All right, guys, let's get on the on ramp and try this little car out. It has 147 horsepower. Go on the highway and see how it does. So far, it looks pretty good. So it's picking up fairly well. It's it got a really good pickup not too bad at all let's drive a little more and see how she does all right all right not too shabby i'm actually pretty impressed let's just let this guy come in we're just gonna take the next exit and well reconvene and turn back but so far i'm impressed all right guys so as you could see the parking trajectory really worked really nicely. And one thing that I like when you put it back into drive, it does not go back into drive right away. It stays on the backup for a little bit. And it's pretty a good little thing for safety. So I like that about it. So I tried the, as you could see, I tried earlier the, uh, the sports mode. It's nice, it has a little pickup. It's a perfect little daily car that you can still do your normal stuff with it. You can still do your normal shopping, your normal going around doing stuff. It's, it's great. It's a very practical car. So that's what I like about it. Let's turn over here. And sport mode again. Just get a little pick up and see. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. I like it. So I don't want to play the music so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. But the overall of this little car is very practical and I like it. Could it be a nice little daily? I would say so. It's very comfortable, very easy to drive. The steering feel is very nice. I even like the sound of the... <laughs> The turn signal. There's a little bit of traffic, but the sound of the turn signal. It has a nice little click. Nice little beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, click, look, click, look, click, look. <laughs> I, I like that. That's really nice. The sound is great. I love the, the big buttons. Love that they're still keeping the, the volume knob on. And the little drive mode. I mean, it's a very practical car. It just works. It has basically seven speakers. But well, usually the top speaker is always used for Apple CarPlay and uh, voice recognition. You know, ask Siri or Android to do something or whatever it may be. But overall, this little car is very nice. I like it. Especially for the price. For $19,190 $19, is the asking price for this car. 
it has just basically everything you need nothing special nothing crazy everything just works in it and i like that about this car let's try the tiptronic a little bit in the sports mode no paddle but you probably don't need it for that i'm trying the the little manual mode on this car it's not bad I don't know if it does auto shift for you if you don't shift right away but i feel like it, it gives you a little bit more time to do the auto shift i, gotta, I want to go somewhere where i have a little bit more give i think it really does act like a <laughs> like a shift it does really shift and then it revs a little higher when you're doing manual mode that's nice i like it it really act like a manual car Another thing I wanted to show you guys is the key. It's a very nice, simple key. You know, look like it doesn't have any button. It's kind of like the Audi style. You just press the key, it's right here, and press it again, and then you can go and, whoop, and hide it. It's gone. But here's the best part. This is where the buttons are. You got your normal button lock, unlock, trunk, and then your panic mode very simple key i like it okay guys this is also i just wanted to give you guys a quick look how the lights look at night so this is a driving light and uh, i'm sorry the headlights and the driving lights so you guys could see and they light up the road pretty well let me just show you the back real quick there you go guys i actually really like the way these tail light are kind of like a boomerang very nice can you put the flashers on back up light all right there you go so here's the brakes how they look like very nice and here's the flasher in the front all right that's it perfect hey guys so here it is 2022 kia soul what do you think you like it i like the color I like the rims drives super nicely so just tell me what you think comment down below let me know what you like about it one of the good one of the things that i really like about it is this <laughs> very different but i like it all right, guys, thank you for watching Car Summit. Until the next time, hope you enjoy. Like and comment down below, right in there, like and comment. Until the next time, peace.